Yeah. Lots on the table this morning. Steve, uh, I want to start off by asking you about this uh, ad. A lot of uh, folks been calling in saying uh, they didn't find it very effective to have uh, Mary and Moon together on the uh, commercial. Uh, others thought it was sort of cute and uh, effective. You're an objective analyst. What do you think about it? Um kind of confused by it, to be honest with you. Uh, it made, uh, I think it made Moon Landrieu to look uh, kind of like a buffoon. Um, but it's, it's a commercial. Uh, I, I think that, the, I mean, I don't really know what the purpose of the commercial was uh, to be able to establish that she has done uh, things for Louisiana. I mean, I think that there's a lot of people who can do that other than her dad. So, to, I mean, the, 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 the title of the uh, commercial was uh, Stubborn, and there's part one and part two, and I've seen part one and part two, by the way, um, and yeah, I mean, she could be uh, viewed as being stubborn, uh, stubborn in certain ways that she has done things that, say, anger you and <laughs> others. And uh, there are certain things that she has done that, you know, her, her stubbornness has helped out Louisiana, and I think that's what they're trying to, uh, to uh, convey. So I, I agree with you. I think there are some problems with it. Uh, we'll see how it uh, works as far as the uh, voters go. And um, I didn't realize there was a part two, Steve. My goodness. So th this thing will probably be airing for a while if there's two different parts to it. Yeah, I... I um, I, I guess so. Again, I don't really understand it. I probably personally would not have run that commercial. Uh, I'm sure that uh, there's a lot of people who are very fond of her dad and, and her family. Uh, mm -hmm. And I do believe they have contributed a lot uh, to the community and to the state. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of people uh, disagree. Um, but they've also received a lot, wouldn't you say? I mean, uh, they receive a lot of praise, perks, money, prestige, positions, power. They've been uh, quite um, fortunate, uh, wouldn't you say, thanks to the voters? Yeah, I, I would say that. And likewise, I would say the same thing goes for our governor and our, our, uh, our, our uh, other U.S. senator. And uh, so I think that... Uh, that's just the way politics is. Under but the difference is the Landrys have been there 44 years. I mean, uh, you can just say from moon on down to the kids, I mean, it's been a continuous 44 years. And Mary's been in office since 1979, so for her it's 35 years. Yeah. And, and you know, look, I, I, I don't like the dynasties either. Uh, may have won uh, uh, in, what, a few years for president. Um, but when is you know, enough I mean, enough? I mean, 44 freaking years? When the voters decide is enough. I mean, uh, it's not fair. I mean, you know, you're, you're all in favor of, uh, uh, of rights, and, uh, you know, it's not fair to penalize somebody, whether they're the son of uh, Bush or they're the son of, or daughter of Landry. I don't you know, like dynasties. I understand that. I don't like them either. But at the same time, you shouldn't punish somebody because they happen to be, you know, the sibling or or. No, the I mean, I don't, I don't want to punish him. Just go do something in the private sector. I mean, uh, stop, uh, you know, lording over us with your public positions and your public payroll and your perks and all that. I mean, get out there and work. Contribute in another way as opposed to being an elected official or some government uh, representative. I mean. I don't know. I'm in favor of term limits, as you know, so I don't think she should be serving a fourth term as in the U.S. I don't think anybody should. I think it should be 12 years and you're done. Okay, so if somebody serves two terms as U.S. Senate, uh, Senator, uh, how long should they serve as governor? Well, I mean, I, that would be up to the voters. Uh, I don't think it should be 12 years for any position. I mean, if you want to lead, I don't think they should be in a particular position for decades. So she's been in, I think, six years too long. I think 12 years is a good amount in one position. So yeah, but it's, it's, if you want to leave Senate and run for governor, uh, and then there's a two-term limit as governor, fine. Uh, then that would be uh, up to the voters. But I don't think in a particular position uh, you should serve longer than two terms. Okay, and uh, so it's up to the voters. 
on one way, but it's not up to the voters in the other. We should impose term limits or some limitations. Well, you know, it's 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 it's. Let's listen to the voters yeah. about term limits. They want term limits. Let's listen to them. Let's do it. Sure, and I, I look, I. I I, I don't like the idea of somebody who has been a U.S. senator, uh, you know, to be able to uh, uh, use unlimited amounts of money, you know, to run for governor. I mean, I, I find that to be very offensive in the state law, uh, you know, restricts the amount, mm -hmm. you know, so, um, you know, it, it, it rubs both ways and it runs both ways. So you're talking uh, about David Vitter's uh, the recent I, ruling? Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. absolutely. I mean, you know, being able to uh, raise unlimited amount of money uh, and to use it for state race, especially you know to get money from your your federal friends, uh, your national uh, uh, you know uh, donors, etc. I mean, I find that to be very offensive, and and I think it circumvents the uh, the state law. I'm all in favor. I tell you of a uh, of a constitutional uh, amendment uh, on uh, restricting uh, the unlimited amount of money that you know uh, people are able to put into campaigns. Mm -hmm. I, I you know call it free speech, but uh, I, I like the idea of one man one vote, one woman one vote. And I think that you know it. Hey, I mean, I, yeah. I'm not. In, uh, I'm in favor of giving as much to the voters as we can. I mean, let's let term limits be decided by the voters. Uh, you can have that issue on the table for uh, voters. Uh, let's let uh, voters um, uh, make uh, decisions on some of these uh, issues the legislature can't deal with. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's turn it over to the uh, voters. I trust the voters more than I do the politicians. Well, uh, and I know that you were in favor of the voters uh, uh, being able to decide about uh, uh, the Medicaid expan expansion. You felt like you know the voters would have enough. Uh, uh, you had enough confidence in the voters to make a decision. I also think the voters should decide on things such as red light cameras. You know, I don't think uh, as, as parish should uh, implement those revenue sources, which are like taxes without the uh, approval of the voters. And I'd be confident the voters would say hell no to those uh, red light cameras, which I don't like. So just I think out they're out unconstitutional. It's just out of curiosity, where, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying, you know, mm. where do you draw the line? Where is it that you have a representative government versus, uh, uh, you know, government body? Well, the maybe, when, the, maybe uh, when they start representing us, uh, we can uh, give them more responsibility. But uh, in so many areas, generic, they're not I mean, representing uh, they're not. Yeah. So I mean, Obamacare, I, 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 Steve. Look at Obamacare. We didn't want Obamacare. We don't want Obamacare. We got Obamacare. They don't listen to us. Mary Landry didn't listen to us. We sent her thousands of emails. That. She didn't listen. I, so, like, the, I understand that. And American voters at this, at this point in time, at this point in time, do not like Obamacare and uh, everything I, I've seen at least. They, but they do not. They do not want to uh, uh, to nullify it. Uh, well, mean, let's see what those, happens, those, Steve, those at the, the mid midterm elections. Uh, let's see what happens at the midterm elections. Here's my sense. Let's we'll see what happens today. We'll see what happens today. I think Republicans are going to do well. I think Republicans are going to win more seats, and they got a chance of taking over the Senate. Sure. If the people here in Louisiana vote out Mary Landrieu, we could very well have a Republican Senate. And uh, I think uh, one of the big issues should be Obamacare, and I'm hoping these candidates who are running against her start focusing on that. Yeah, well, it's going to be very exciting. I, 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 I agree. Uh, you know, I think that Louisiana may be, am I correct, because of the jungle primary and then the runoff. You know, it Louisiana could be the deciding. I don't, I don't know what other elections uh, for U.S. Senate uh, no, do the way that we do. It. No, nobody else does it so like we, we do. So <laughs> if that's nobody. the case, then, then yeah, then we'll be the last. We'll be yeah. the last to decide. And I, mean, uh, I think uh, unless, unless you went straight up, uh, there was a poll, not the small poll, but another one that that was a, a, a Democratic uh, oriented, and uh, you know they I, I think it was forty nine to forty nine or um, or forty eight forty eight something like that. Where, well, uh, and, here's and what all the other numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then, then I think that uh, that it went to Cassidy, and except for one percent went to uh, Landrew. Here's what we got to remember: uh, there's uh, going to be a Reverend Brown in the race who might get a few percentage points. There's going to be Rob Manus, Paul Hollis, 
Uh, these guys are going to start hopefully uh, getting their campaigns going. Rob Manus is already doing commercials. Um, he got Sarah Palin's endorsement. I think he's going to be going up in the polls. Uh, I guess Cassidy is going to be uh, continuing to uh, spend money. Landry's spending money like crazy. So, um, you know, this thing is going to be changing. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I know Maris Landry is spending money like crazy, and I think that the outside money is spending money like crazy on, on uh, uh, primarily the cotches, but, uh, you know, I, I think that there's been other ads that mm -hmm. would support or would be against the uh, uh, Republicans, uh, and they began to uh, spend money also. Mm -hmm.